campus in a little more than a year. There'll be a new standardized test to replace the I-STEP. But one Indiana representative wants to make another change, a college entrance exam. Nearly 30% of schools got an A on the latest I-STEP results. That's up six percentage points from last year. But about 6% of Indiana schools got an F. Indiana will pay a company $43 million to create, implement, and grade the new test, but now there are more suggestions on how to deal with testing. News Channel 15, Sarah Schaefer has more on this latest push for new standardized testing. Well, the Graduation Pathways panel has been looking at testing options for months, but last night's suggestion was a surprise to many. During a state meeting reviewing a final draft of recommended testing requirements, there was yet another idea, replacing in-course assessments or ECAs and requiring every student to take the ACT and or SAT. It's an interesting thing to look at and that was the first time that had been presented to the board and so um, I'm, I'm going to appreciate getting some feedback from people in the area and superintendents and principals and stuff about what their thoughts are too. Carrie Wicker is the principal at Southern Wells Elementary and is on the State Board of Education. She thinks there are positive and negatives to this idea. The college ready exams would count as the federal and state required accountability exams for high school. Wicker thinks other than preparing for a competitive college, another positive is it could save money. The state would be picking up the cost for the SAT and the ACTs. We would be recouping some of the money. Um, we would re be recouping all of the money from the ECA. Superintendent of Fort Wayne Community Schools, Wendy Robinson, has a strong opinion about the Pathways panel and all of the changes. It was extremely frustrating that we've taken what I thought the concept of Pathways made sense and it's become a politically charged Nightmare. She thinks the people making the plans have limited input from people that are, quote, on the ground every day. The thing that the public doesn't get is we've created a crisis saying that what we were doing was so wrong, it has to be completely revised. Robinson says there have been so many revisions and ideas, she's having a hard time keeping it all straight. And yet discussion still is far from over. Being frustrated is one thing. Being proactive is another. I hope we wake up before it's too late. I talked to Indiana House Education Committee Chairman Representative Bob Bain this, late this afternoon. He brought all of this up last night. Here is reaction to Superintendent Robinson's opinions at 6. In Studio 15, Sarah Schaefer, News Channel 15.